guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look for you and it is inspired by the NHS concerning the tough times we are going through. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and enjoy the video. So first things first, I am going to go in with my Midnight Unicorn Revolution palette. And I am, well I'm really zoomed in, I'm going to start off by using this light blue shade right here. And I am just going to start applying this to my crease. So you also want to, I'm just going to lift it up high up onto my arch just so it makes the cut crease look a little bit more fuller whenever you come to do in the cut. Okay so now that my crease is done I am going to go back in with the same palette again and I am going to just use this dark blue shade right here and I'm going to start applying that to my lid. Now that the darker shade has been added, I am just going to take a clean brush and blend out the edges. I just want to make sure that you get a really nice neat blend so it doesn't look too sharp and too bloggy. So now that I am done with blending up my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my Revolution Concealer and I'm going to start to cut my crease. I just always start by making a little line in the middle and then just following where my crease is and dragging it along. So now that I have cut my crease, I am going to go back in with my Unicorn palette and I'm going to go to this really dark, dark blue shade here and I'm just going to apply that to my outer corner just to deepen the colour up a little bit. So once you have applied your dark blue shade to your outer corner, I am going to go back in with the light blue shade I used again in my crease and I am just going to add a little bit to the centre of my eye. Now that I have got the second blue shade at it, I am going to go in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use this deep blue shade right here just to add to my eyelid yet again beside that second tone that I already applied. I have applied the final blue colour, I am going to go back in with my Unicorn palette and I am going to use this white shade just to add to my inner corner.
There we have it, eyes are done for now. I'm just gonna jump off camera and do my base makeup. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now that my base is done, I'm gonna go back in with my Trusty Revolution Trio Highlighting Palette. And I am just going to add a little bit of highlighter to my brow bone. And then a little bit to the inner corner of my eye. And now that I've got my highlighter done to my eye, I'm going to go back in with my unicorn palette and I'm going, no not unicorn palette, <laughs> I'm going to go back in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to go back in with that dark blue shade I use and I'm going to add it to below my waterline. What I'm going to do is I'm just going in with the black pencil liner and I am going to apply the liner to my waterline and my upper waterline. Okay, next up I'm going to go in with my Revolution Mascara and I'm just going to apply that as normal. Now that I've got my mascara applied, I am going to jump off camera and apply my eyelashes. And there we have it. This is the finished look. I am by no means a professional makeup artist and I know my cut creases aren't going to be perfect, but I'm still learning. I'm still getting my bearings. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, let me know what you think. It wasn't perfect, but... Anyway, I will see you all in my next video which will be on Wednesday. Take care and stay safe everyone.